Teresa Gamble. I am coming to you live from Jacksonville, Florida. We are in the room. We are celebrating Startup Grind Women's Month. I am so excited, so excited. One of my Jacksonville chapter's favorite is in the room tonight. We want to thank Google for Startups and SBB Bank of Silicon Valley for hosting the Startup Grind Women this month. So far, we have had some amazing um, African-American, beautiful women in tech. Um, Lakeisha Sabra, she taught us about automation lead magnet sales funnels. Last Tuesday, we had Joy Stokes of Joystick monetizing your live stream. I am so amazed with her event. I, I got to show off my little gift I got today from her. I love my speakers. They love to give me a treat. So she break, she sent me my own joystick, y'all. Y'all got to get y'all own joystick. Cool. Well, I can clip a device here. I can clip one right here. She sent me the little lighting piece. I'm telling you, this is amazing. I love gadgets. Yes. And then she sent me... um. Her handbook, a guidebook of her presentation to share with the entire Startup Grind community. So that's going to be going out in the newsletter at the end of this month because I want to send out all the goods and treats that all our speakers have provided this month so everyone can patronize them. And I intentionally select these women because of us being in the pandemic and we're trying to innovate and do things and these women have mastered they got the blueprint so tonight we're gonna learn about publishing your ebook with terry b jones of we voice it i, I call her the all things tech queen because that's exactly <laughs> what she is but before we get into that i want to share a little bit startup grind has launched a membership program and if you want to, it does. we have a grind membership and a growth membership. A lot of times, Startup Grind, we do not have a collective place where we can go get education, inspiration, connect with investors, all that good stuff. I have posted it on the Startup Grind Jacksonville chapter. We are offering three months free for the membership. You need to go on my post and grab that link. But I also have two golden tickets left for a one-year membership. But you have to be a member of the Jacksonville chapter and a consistent participant. Because I want to make sure you're going to utilize this membership because the first candidate for the golden ticket you will be listening to her tonight and that is miss terry b jones she is the first recipient of the jacksonville chapter to get the golden ticket for a one-year membership of the charlotte Brown program well i'm gonna go move out the way and i'm gonna let um the woman of tech queen of tonight um tell us a little bit more about who she is her why what she does and her specific topic tonight on ebook publishing. Thank you, Miss Terry, for being with us this evening. You're welcome. You're welcome. You want me to pull up the PowerPoint now? Of course, of course. Turn your volume up a little bit. Okay. It's a little low. I love your background. That is gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, Sam, you disabled screen sharing. I need to get that. Okay, hold on one second. I will get you, get you, get you. Okay, try now. Okay. All right, there we go. There. All right. Let's go to the show from the beginning. All right. You see my PowerPoint yet? Yes, loud and clear and All visual. Right. All right. Yeah, so I am Terry B. Jones coming to you live on tonight. That's what you'll hear me say anytime I go live, whether it's on Facebook, Zoom, YouTube, you name it. I am coming to you live, okay? And on tonight, I have something really cool and great for you all in the midst of this pandemic. I mean, we still can be the movers and shakers. And what I'll be sharing with you on tonight is ebook video marketing okay yes. and the reason i'm sharing this is so that you can keep your existing customers and attract new ones all right and what will that do for you give you additional revenue streams okay so a little bit about terry b jones 
I am a viral content marketer. I share Alexa skills, how you can get your content, your podcast, your blog posts, your coaching tips and strategies on the millions of Amazon Echo devices, okay? Yes. Then I share email marketing. Everyone should have an email autoresponder because when this COVID-19 took place, you should have been able to send a broadcast message out to let your customers know, hey, I'm still open, I'm closed, I'm going virtual, whatever the case may be, okay? That's, the, that's why we use email marketing. Then I do YouTube marketing because guess what? That is the second largest place that people hang out on the internet then wow. google my business number one who does not want to have their business on the first page of google i can show you how to make that happen then of course ebook marketing i have several ebooks that i already have whether they're on amazon kindle or they're actually a part of my website as a lead generator okay and i do have an online course where you can learn step by step how to do a lot of these different things that I just shared with you on today, okay? And so that's a little bit about me. I've been in IT for 33 years. In December, be 34 years I've been in IT, okay? Wow. I'm a baby boomer, and hey, that's what we do. We make <laughs> things happen. <laughs> that's and I'm good. Also yeah, also an uh, admin of the Black Owned Business Jacksonville uh, group, on uh, Facebook group, where I'm an admin on every Wednesday, I share a marketing strategy with the entrepreneurs for them to grow their brand, their reach, and their revenue. And also, because my husband and I own TJ and TJ Insurance Agency, I share financial success strategies so that those who need to create a budget, become debt free, get properly insured and have several streams of income will know exactly what to do and how to move forward in making those things happen for them and their family. And so that's all I'm gonna share with you on today because I can go on about me, <laughs> but it's all about you on tonight, okay? I'm about, I wanna make some things happen for you, all right? So of course, you know, I don't wanna take it for granted that people know what an ebook is because I just published my 15th book, which is how to have a virtual birthday party, okay? And it's the best virtual birthday party ever. That was the response I got from my granddaughter. And so because of that, she sparked me to say, you know what? I want other kids that's in the midst of this pandemic to be able to enjoy their birthday right in the midst of social distancing with their family and friends, okay? Wow. And so I, yes, and so that was my ebook that I created and uploaded to uh, Amazon on Kindle. And so what is an ebook, all right? And all it is is just a short electronic book that uses either a computer, a mobile device, or ebook reader to display content in a book format, okay? And they're basically just digital pages that are created as a PDF, and you can navigate through the book just like you would any other book, okay? And then you can share it with others online. And so that's pretty much what an ebook is. Now, why would you want to create an ebook? All right. The purpose of creating an ebook is to offer something valuable to your target audience, okay? So, with my book on how to have a virtual birthday party the value that i'm bringing to them is they would love to know how to actually do a virtual birthday party okay using facebook live using zoom and so that's something valuable that i'm bringing to them then the what you want your readers to do, to be able to do is have questions answered that they already have in their head and you are going to provide them the answer in your ebook and also to solve that problem that they have the problem of it's like i don't have a clue how to set up an event for a facebook live for a birthday party how to set up the zoom so that everybody can be on the screen so all the different things that you need to know how to do that is what you can share in the ebook 
Another thing, a great reason why you want to create an ebook because you become an author, okay? You'll be known as the go-to person and you'll be able to brand your business, your product or service because that's what you'll have in your book. And then the third reason why you would like to do an ebook is basically to introduce a new product line, okay? Like I said, this was my 15th book. This is another book that I'm adding to my book publishing. Now, what does that do for me? That gives me another stream of income, okay? Uh, when you create books, that's residual income. As people buy them, whether you market those books or not, they're available. People do a search, they find them, they buy them. There's your extra income, okay? Another reason is to generate leads, okay? So now ebook can also be placed on your website as a lead generator, which wow. you can build your email list so that you can start building no like and trust that leads to sales. And the reason why you want to do that, because if you have a big ticket item, okay, like we're an insurance business, okay? So for somebody to say, hey, we want to get, you know, a $500,000 or a million dollar IUL, okay? This might not be something that they'll just off the cuff, just go ahead on and buy without kind of knowing something about us, you know, and feeling like, you know, okay, you know, there's some people I wouldn't mind, you know, doing business with and uh, they, uh, they seem trustworthy, okay? So same thing with you. If you have a big ticket item, you know, you selling a, a coaching program and it's $5,000, then you want to build that relationship so that you can be seen as the person that they know will actually be able to help them whatever problem that they're having, okay? And then you can also offer affiliate offers within that uh, once you, while you're building that list, okay? And then of course you can go viral. That ebook can actually be turned into a PLR. Now, for those of you who may not know what that is, that is a private label rights. So now you can actually have that ebook give it to other people, they can share it with other people, and all the wow, all of your links, to all your product or services going to everybody, okay? Going to wow. that person and whoever they know and whoever they know and whoever they know, okay? So wow. that's why ebooks are like so needed and why you should say, hold up, hold up. Yes, let, let me listen to this some more so that I can determine whether what I need to do to get me an ebook, okay? Now, awesome. what is a video book, okay? So now, what you can do with your existing written ebook content, all right? Because as I stated, it's a PDF, all right? Where somebody has to actually download it and read it, all right? Now, guess what? You can take that same content and repurpose it to video format, either as an explainer video a training video or a video audio sales letter okay and then those are the ways that you can take that same book and now you have a video book wow. now let's look at some statistics here okay when it comes to ebooks all right now publishers of books in all formats made almost 26 billion dollars in revenue last year and just in the United States, we're not talking around the world, 26 billion, all right? Ebooks are taking $2.4 billion, according to the Association of American Publishers annual report. Out of that 26 billion, two billions went towards people purchasing ebooks. How cool is that? That's a nice, wow. that's a nice purse right there. Yes, it is. Then, you have, as far as revenue in the ebook segment, it is projected to reach in 2020, which is we're, we're in 2020, $6.4 million. Okay? Are you a part of that $6.4 million of the revenue that's going to be generated? Then when it comes to uh, revenue, is also expected to show an annual growth rate of 4.3% resulting in a projected volume of $7.58 million by year 2024. So now is a good time to definitely get your ebook. And then 
user penetration uh, will be about 25% in 2020 and is expected to hit 28.5% by 2024, okay? So reading support in the year 2019, there are a share of 31.8% of users basically are in between the age of 25 to 34 years old. So if that's your target market, then you are definitely going to be making some money getting the coins, okay? That's good, I like that. Now, when it comes to video, okay, let's look at the video. Look at these numbers, just straight off the bat. 81% of businesses use a, a video as a marketing tool, 81, that's a large number. Then 75% of all video plays are on mobile devices. Everybody looking on their phone now, okay? And they're watching videos, you know, while they on the go, and there you go, 75%. 78% of people watch online videos every week, okay? And 55% watch every day. That's, wow. Those are large numbers. Then you have 92% of users watching video on mobile, and they will actually share it with others. Not only is that person looking, but now they like, girl, look at this video here. Look at this video here. They're just sharing it with the mama, the sister, the brother, and anybody else, okay? And then 95% of viewers retain a message when they watch it in a video compared to 10% when reading it in text. So mm -hmm. great, a great start is to get your ebook, okay, written. That is a great start. Get your content in writing. But definitely you want to repurpose that content into video so that you can get 95% of people retaining your information. Because guess what? When they retain the information, it's like, hold up. This person here is the stuff. That's the person I need to hook up with. Let me go ahead on and reach out to them and get things done. Let me get some, make some things happen just like they're making things happen. Okay? And so savvy marketers, is that you? Hopefully that's you. Okay? Yes. Take note that video is here to stay. Because who said, who talked about it? Mark Zuckerberg. Okay, we know who he is, all right? Believes that video is a critical part of our future. And the sheer volume of video content online is growing exponentially, as you can see from these stats, okay? So now, who wants to see the money? Because guess what? You talking ebook and video together. That's two streams of income right there. The, yes. the paper content, you know, the and the video content. So let's talk about the five components of a great ebook. All right. The first thing is you have to pick a niche, okay? And it will definitely have to be based on a keyword. Now the keyword is what are people looking for? Okay. What's trending right now? Okay. So that's what you want this book to be about. You know, what is, what like right now, live streaming is huge. If you wrote a book on live streaming, that's huge, okay? Any type of uh, virtual platform, uh, being able to help people to get online, you know, those are the things and the things that people need, the tools they need now to get online, you know, so pick a niche. People want to start making money from home. How do I do that now? I never work from home. Okay, I never had to sit, you know, and so there you go. You can write an either book about working from, I've been working from home full time since 2008. So I definitely can work a, write a book on working from home and I can write one about jobs for those who work from home, not no uh, low paying jobs on top of that. Okay, I'm oh, talking wow. $60,000 jobs, you know, wow. a year. And so there you go. And so that's um, the, what the first component is to find a niche, okay? And then when the second component is find an affiliate product, okay? Because you want a product to complement yours, okay? Because if you just say, for instance, I have as a business kneeling prayer pillows, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, that's great. That's fine and great. But how about I find t-shirts you know for people that want to have on their shirt pray without ceasing because that's what they have embroidered on their pillow right. what about i get an affiliate product to where they can get uh journals 
uh, something to, you know, to write Bibles, you know, it, it, uh, different things, uh, necklaces, you know, with the cross, all those types of things you can actually incorporate within your ebook as you're writing your ebook. Because right now people are scared. They ha they're full of fear. They're not, they just uncertain about tomorrow. So I can write an ebook, you know, in the line of, you know, praying and how to trust God, stand on God's word. And then I can also put some things, you know, where they can buy a Bible, where they can buy a journal and journal how they're feeling every day as they're going through this here. Okay. So affiliate products where you would just get paid some extra money. Here's another stream of money. Okay. And then the third component is to create your content. Okay. You have to get your content written. Okay. The power of a pen and paper is what me and my husband all, I mean, that's our thing that we, we stress. Power of a pen and paper. Get to writing. Find a quiet place. Sit down and, and map out an hour. You know, if it's 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 8 a.m., whatever that time is, you find that time and you let everybody and their mama know, hey, look, <laughs> from 11 to 12, I got my quiet time where I'm going to be writing my content for my book for my video, whatever it is you're doing, you let everybody, put everybody on board. You know, that's how you end up losing weight too. You know, people stop smoking that way. You let everybody know, hey, look, I'm, I'm not going to be smoking anymore. You know, I appreciate you guys supporting me by not smoking around me. And so that's what you do. You just let people know, hey, this way I'm at, this way I'm trying to do, you know, trying to accomplish some things. And then you get that type of support, okay? And then the fourth uh, component is to choose the platform that you want your ebook e to go on. So like I said, you can put it on your website. If you don't have leads, you know, you don't have people that you can communicate with to start building on like and trust, I would suggest you start there first, okay? Before you start moving on to Amazon and some of the other places, okay? But there are several platforms that you can put your ebook on, all right? And then, the last component is sending traffic, okay? You have to have traffic to people. You just like if you had a brick and mortar business that you need people to come, ring the doorbell, open the door, come on in, make a phone call, whatever, the same way online. You need people to come see your ebook, uh, your splash page, or your opt-in page so they can say, oh my goodness, I need this book right here. They go ahead on and opt-in and get it, okay? And so those are the five components that need to be in place for you to create a great ebook. Okay. Now, when it comes to videos, okay, the five most common types of videos are explainer videos. Okay. And what explainer videos are is where it actually explains, like, say, for instance, you have a, a membership site, you know, and that video can. I'll tell you, okay, this is where you log in. This is where you find, you know, your different modules. This way you do this, that, and the other, okay? And so, and you can have an explainer video. The second one is a product demo. So say for instance, you know, you have a makeup a kit and then somebody, they want to start wearing makeup, but they just don't know how to go, you know, should they put the blush on first, foundation, eye, whatever. You know, so you can demonstrate your product, especially doing social distancing, you know, get on a Zoom, you know, and let, uh, first off, you email your customers, say, hey, look, I'm going to be taking my business online, okay? I can eat, I can mail you out, you know, your products that you're used to having, and what we'll do, we'll meet privately on Zoom where I can show you how to still look gorgeous while you're sitting at home with your feet propped up. Okay, so that's wow. a product video, demo video. Then online course content, okay? So if you have an online course, basically you won't need to create, you know, your different modules. And so your modules would be the different videos, you know, module one, module two, module three, okay? And then the a fourth uh, common video is a how to, how to do something, how to fry eggs, you know, you know how to bake a cake. You know, now that people are home social distancing, they got to go back to cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's like some people hadn't picked up a skip. That stove was collecting dust. Mm. And so now, you know, it's like, oh, my God, how do I cook? And that's the beautiful thing about having this Amazon Echo Show. Oh, my goodness. 
you can see the people cooking the recipes right there and pull up the recipes for you. And then also you can tell Amazon to order the stuff and they'll bring it to your house and you can watch them cook while you cut your stuff up. They cut it. I mean, it's a beautiful world. I just wow. love um, these echo devices, but that's what you can do. How to videos. Okay. And then tutorials. Okay. So there we go. You, we, we got the kids that, you know, basically at home with the parents and the parents, they hadn't taught anybody anything. You know, all of a sudden, they got to be a teacher. They got to put the teacher hat on, okay? Right. And, you know, now we got to hand them an apple, you know, for the teacher of the year. And so <laughs> basically, you know, you can create a tutorial video so that they'll know how to uh, get on Zoom because that's what the kids have to It's like, I don't know what to do. You know, so that's another common type of video. All right. So those are the five types. Now, when it comes to picking a niche, okay, the, the one niche that I believe everybody should have as a part of their marketing strategy, of course, is email marketing. Okay. Because it is used to promote your product, your service, and it's just not limited to that. Okay. You can use that to develop relationships with your current customers. Like I say, you can broadcast to them. You can reach out to potential customers, new, new people that you're trying to win over, okay? And then it also allow businesses to keep their customers informed about what's going on. We back open now, we 25% we can come in, what have you, those type of things, okay? And basically it's a very cost effective form of digital marketing today. And it's, it's very potent because, like I said, it's just like sitting there talking to the person, okay? But it's through an email. And so that is the niche that I, I, I chose. And the reason I chose that, because everybody needs to be able to communicate with their customers. If you have a business, you need email marketing. So that is the niche that I pick. It doesn't matter what I'm teaching, what I'm teaching video, what I'm teaching Amazon Echo, what I'm teaching YouTube. I'm going to, at the end, tell you that you need email marketing in order to respond to it, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's my niche, you know. Now, when it comes to affiliate marketing, okay, and income, like I said, you need to pick some type of affiliate product to, to kind of intertwine into your ebook, you know? And so that is what I always intertwine into mine, you know, uh, and, and that is, my uh, actual affiliate program, which is Traffic Wave to Autoresponder, I actually put that in and I also let them know, hey, you can try it out for 30 days and I'll give you a free power half an hour to help you set it up and you go from there, okay? And so that is something that you can use as yours, okay? If you, if you have an autoresponder and pretty much any of the tools that you're using online, make sure you find out if there is an affiliate uh, offer so that you can make money while you're using the product, okay? Because as you use it, it actually becomes free for you to use because there's so many people that is using the same thing as you. And it's great to have other people so that you can kind of bounce things off of. It's like, oh, okay, you know, I'm trying to do this, you know, with my autoresponder and I haven't quite figured out whatever somebody else is using it too. Y'all can put your heads together, boom, bam, and make things happen, okay? That's now, good. That's real good, Miss Terry. Yeah, so now when it comes to uh, creating content, okay, for your ebook, okay, you have to create a benefit driven headline, okay? When the person looks at the cover of your ebook, okay, of course you need to have an eye catching image, your colors got to be sl slamming, you know, but you want those words to say, you know, how to whatever the problem is, and then you give them a time frame. Say, hey, how to, like I have an uh, email, uh, I have an actual uh, squeeze page where I have my ebook that I'm, I give out where it tells you how to get 50 leads in 30 days, okay? That's the benefit, all right? Wow. That's a benefit-driven headline. Who doesn't want to know how to get 50 leads in 30 days? Okay, so that's what you, that's when you're creating your content, make sure you keep that in mind that you're trying to attract people to your ebook. Okay, mm -hmm. and then of course, like I said, you had an eye catching image, 
you, uh, you of course you put your logo your slogan and then inside that ebook uh, you will have an introduction you know just kind of let them know hey this is what this book is about all right and then you have five to seven chapters of those different things so basically what you're going to do you're going to tell them what you're going to tell them then chapter five through seven is telling them and then you have a conclusion where you tell them what you told them okay <laughs> and so that's how that go <laughs> <laughs> okay and so that that's yeah that's as simple as it get and within there you know you you offer a special promo okay so you can say hey look you know we um you can take advantage of, you know, 50% off, 30% off, um, you know, a free strategy call, whatever it is you want to offer in the ebook. Okay, that's your time to put all your stuff in there, you know, get all the, the like they said, um, the whole kitchen, just put it all in there. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, once they get it and they read and it's like, you know, you want them to basically know everything they need to know. And then they want to know that, and then you want them to know that, hey, she's the person, somebody say, hey, you know, um, I'm looking to get an autoresponder. Oh, oh, Terry, you can go to Terry, you know, because you see, I'm, I'm pushing email marketing everywhere, you know. That's good. <laughs> and so that's what you do with your now, content. Ms. Now, Miss Terry, with the autoresponder, do you have to, does it have to be associated with an email address account or is it set up separate for the autoresponder? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So basically, the way the autoresponder works, say for instance, you choose uh, Mailchimp. You know, you have free, you have free autoresponders, and you have um, paid versions. You know, a lot of them. And all you do is you just go sign up, and then you create, you know, an email campaign. Mm -hmm. But of course, you got to have somewhere to grab those people to send them. So you basically would have a website. And of course, when you have a website, you have some type of email or contact information. So that's what you would use, you know, within your autoresponder to communicate with people so they can communicate back with you. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So now when it comes to creating a video ebook, okay, and the trying to determine, okay, now that I took my written content and I made it into video content, a video sales letter, because that's what it actually becomes, a video sales letter, okay? So you're going to put it on YouTube. You're going to put it on Vimeo. Or you can put it on Amazon. You can put it on your website. You can put it on all your social media sites, you know, your Facebook, you know, LinkedIn, what have you, you know. And so those are the different platforms. And I'm quite sure there are more that you can put your um, ebook. Uh, wait, video. You just, wait, you just said you can put video on Amazon. You mean on the Fire Stick? No, what I do, now, that, now you can. Now, that's a whole nother <laughs> conversation, girl. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Hey, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You can go on the Fire Stick, but hey, that's a, that's a whole nother strategy. See, you, okay? done pick, you, look, you done pick my brain. I might have to bring well, you back for that one. Girl, you know, I know some of this, that, and the other. Okay? I know. You is the queen <laughs> of all tech things. I know. Okay. So Amazon. So where would the videos be on Amazon? Because, I, you know, I could usually go for purchasing books or different products, but I've never right. actually watched videos on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll talk about that another day. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> now, let's go on to how we're going to get the traffic to our ebook to our video sales letter we're going to have what an opt-in page on our website okay you have the opt-in page and the opt-in page all it is is where you have like a picture of your book if you got your ebook created and or if you have the video sales letter you'll have your video on there okay and then you'll have some type of bullet points to let them know hey look here's a ebook you know, where you can get 50 leads in 30 days, you know, if you uh, want to get this video how, for, on how to do this, then basically they will put their name, and email address in there, and then it will go, the autoresponder would send them that actual, you know, video or the ebook, whichever one, you know, that you're actually giving them as a freebie with, on your opt-in opt page, because that's what you're doing. You're giving them something free. 
in exchange for their email address. Because once you get somebody's email address, pretty much you can communicate with them as long as they don't, you know, opt out of it. And the only reason people will opt out is, say, for instance, you know, you started off talking about, you know, email marketing, video, any kind of marketing stuff, but then you don't switched over and now you're talking about prayer pillows. So I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah, you know, I don't. Yeah, I don't. You know, merge the two when I do my email marketing. I do have now because, like, with the autoresponder that I use, you can have several campaigns. So I have an email campaign with you know my people who actually buy my prayer pillows, and then I have a different one for those who uh, opt in for our insurance agency. So they all sep sec you know segmented like, in that way because you don't want people like, huh, what is she talking about? Prayer pillow. Mm -hmm. I don't even know God, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's like, no, no, you can't do that. Okay. And um, so basically, yeah. So then of course, so once they give you the email address goes in there and then there you go, they get your video. All right. And so that's a beautiful world. And then yeah. inside your, your actual autoresponder, you can actually send videos to them. You just record yourself and upload into your um orders you don't even have to send no, no email anymore you know what I'm saying? i mean nothing written you can actually um send a video it's like hey you know here's a video where i want to share with you you know today's motivational word for today whatever it is you know that you're doing based on your product or service okay all right and now here are the tools and services you need okay now i i, I went the low ball way to give you guys, you know, the different things that you can utilize to get your, your stuff up and running. Okay. Now, Screencast-O-Matic. I have been using that for years. Okay. There's a free version. With the free version, you can record up to 15 minutes, which is plenty of time. Okay. And then um, there's a paid version. I like the paid version because also, you know, they don't have the Screencast-O-Matic logo on there for the paid version. And I think, um, how much is it? Uh, I think it's 15 for the whole year. That's what it is. It's 15 for oh, the whole okay. year, which is very bad. cheap. It's very yeah. cheap. And that's um, the link that I have right there. If you click on there, I think you get 20% off of it. Yeah for um, the price of um, if you don't use the free version but I used the free version for a long time and then I'm like Terry I mean really go ahead <laughs> come on girl now you know you go get that number one or that number seven and it's at least fifteen dollars you know at Hardee's or whatever yeah mm -hmm. wow. you take that <laughs> okay so like I said that's free or you can pay the fifteen dollars a year all right then there's Google Slides. Of course, everybody has Google, right? A Gmail account, hopefully. So that's mm -hmm. a free way of creating your slides for your video, okay? Where you're taking your content and now you don't put it in a vid video sales letter format, all right? Then, of course, you want to have some eye-catching images. Pixabay, of course, you know, that's free to use as well, okay? Now, also, with um, if you have the... The Microsoft products, of course, you can use PowerPoint. You don't have to use Google Slides. Those, that's for those who may not have that, you know, or Open Office. That's another free concept where you can create your slides, okay? And so I'm just trying to give you some of the, the free or low cost, you know, ways to get your ebook, you know, and your video sales letter done, all right? That's and then, of course, now the microphone. Now, I, I took an ask, okay, this is what I did. For Christmas, all right. <laughs> when I got my blue yeti, I'm like, hey, you know, this is what I want for Christmas. Okay, so a blue yeti is around one twenty-five to two hundred dollars. But I've had this blue yeti for about uh, at least five years. I know at at a minimum. Wow. Yeah, wow. and um, so yeah, so I've been using my um, blue yeti for the longest. But then I also have this other one. I uh, have a link on there, and that one is only like $50, whatever. But, you know, you can get, you know, a simple, uh, you know, not ex expensive. Now, if, I mean, if you're going to be podcasting, you're going to be doing video, it would just be good to, to get you, you know, a microphone, okay? Put yeah. that on your list, you know? Uh, when people ask you what you want for your birthday, what you want for Christmas, you want to build your business. And then even like when we teach – um our financial success strategies, we teach people how to have fun money, okay? It's an account where you just put money in it. 
that way well, you can do what you want with it okay you can go on the trip with your girlfriends or you can buy that you know like i've got my green screen set up in here i, I mean i look like some professional up in here with my green screen <laughs> got the white screen the black screen i got all this <laughs> i love it i yeah, love I'm it like, yeah, I'm like, okay, I'll, that's what I want for this Christmas. So, you know, you got to put get that Christmas list together, a birthday list together, anniversary, whatever it is, you know, to get that stuff that you want and need so that you can take your business to the next level, you know? And then, I of like course, um, yeah, and then hosting, okay, you got to have host. If you have a website, basically your website needs to have an address. It needs to have somewhere to call its own, Okay. And so you can, now the hosting that I use is called Hosting Profit. And then the, the great thing about Hosting Profit is where it actually is hosting. It is um, an autoresponder. Um, it has a blogger interface. It has where you could do, create videos within it as well. And it has um, a conference room where you can have as, up to 10 people. And then it also has training. How cool is that? And I think it's only like nineteen dollars um, a month or something like that, or whatever. It's very cheap. Wow. But anyway, I have a link for that. And then, of course, um, as far as the opt-in page, you know, you got to now, now paper template is what I use um, to just create quick. When I say it's like a quick opt-in page, if you want to, you know, put your little simple heading up there, you know, uh, a picture of your book and your video, and then a link for people to just you know, um, opt-in or a link for somebody to just click to go straight to PayPal, that traffic um, paper template is $47 a year. And I'm telling you, it works one, it's more optimized and everything. Now, here's the big boy, video sales letter. If you <laughs> want, I'm telling you, if you want to get a video sales letter set up and have it look professional, Okay, you can get video sales letter. And and the great thing about it, like say for instance, you take your written content ebook and then you um upload it to video uh easy video easy vsl. Okay, you upload it there and it actually creates all your slides for you. It oh, creates wow. all man, this thing is like the stuff. I'm telling you. And it has all different templates, different colors or whatever. And I mean, so yeah, um, I'm trying to think what's the price of that. I, that, I bought it. Oh gosh. I bought that so long ago. Um, I don't remember how much it costs, but that's a link for, for it. And, um, so, but to me, that's, that's a quick, quick way to get your stuff done. You know, you just, um, take the whole ebook, boom, push it over there. And then you just put um, like click to where you want uh, like the content to go on each page. Just click like a little marker. Just put a just click on each wherever you want it to stop and start. And boom, it builds all of your pages for you. And it has the voice in there too. So if you're like, oh my god, you know, I don't like my voice. You know, people don't like my voice. I sound squeaky. I sound this, that, and other. It actually can have the voice read your um your uh, video sales letter for you. You can pick a man, a woman, you know, different uh, tones, you know, foreigners, and it can actually be switched over to uh, um, different languages too. You can actually have it and say, you know, Spanish, you know, if you want Spanish people to take advantage of your product or service, it can actually translate it to Spanish too. So, I mean, it's, That's it's cool. Yeah. I, you know, I love gadgets. I love to, I, you know, I'm a techie. It's like, if it's something... <laughs> I see. I love that. Cause I know that's something I was looking in um, too, is making sure I have different um, version of language types for um, yeah. products. Cause all of them, um, many nationalities um, does not have English as a primary language. Right. And yeah, you, you global. So definitely, yeah, that will work for you. Yeah. For sure. That's cool. Okay. So that's all I had to share with you all. Now, if you all decide that, you know what, Terry, girl, that was like, oh my gosh, a whole mouthful that you <laughs> shared with me, all right? And if you was like, hey, you know what? I want to see that easy BSL in action, all right? You can connect with me, okay, mm -hmm. on Messenger, okay? I have a Facebook um, bot out there. You can just reach out to me there and um, or email me. 
and say, hey, let me see one of your videos that the Easy VSL made, or let me, you know, here's my content, you know, I want to know how that works or whatever. So anyway, there you go. Oh my oh, God. Yeah. Thank you. That is amazing. I have learned a whole lot. I have sent, um, read and saw a lot of ebook presentations, but nothing like this. And, and I guess because you bring the tech ex, um, component <laughs> into it. A lot of them, I get it from an author perspective, a writer perspective, and not okay. so much of the tech perspective. So you gave us both of best worlds and this was amazing. And I, I I wanted to do these particular sessions this month because like you said, everyone is home. They're trying to make money from home. And the and a lot of the content they have from old presentations, probably sermons from church that they preached or Sunday school teachers something that you can be able to monetize and not just help yourself but your organization and your business that you're working for so um i know miss terry you have a facebook group that you um do a lot of um coaching and training with um who if they want to connect you on your facebook group which facebook page which should they reach out specifically for the ebook um video book training okay i have um videos books and courses that's okay. my that's my private um facebook group okay. that they can reach out uh-huh so yeah, they will yeah. have to ask to jump put, yeah. um, request if to they jump. connect yeah if they could yeah if they connect with me on the um you know through my messenger then i can go ahead on and um but that's what it is um books videos and books videos courses i believe that is it but just in case it's not, they can connect with me. Okay. Um, well, what we'll yeah. do, I set up my a Facebook page. Yeah, my Facebook page, TJ and TJ Enterprise. They can connect with connect. me on there. Awesome. So what I do, I create a special promo code for those viewers that's watching or catch the replay that wants to connect with Miss Terry on the ebook video publication. And it's a promo code is um S G Jax, J A X for you to get access and say, let Miss Terry know either I was on the um, live for June for Startup Ground Women Month or I caught the repay, replay and I would like to get more information. So we will set that up and make sure that you all get access. So any final thoughts, Miss Terry, before we close out this amazing Startup Grind um, Women in Tech Tools this, for this week? Well, like I said, I'm, I'm a teacher that's what i believe i was put on this earth to do okay so if anyone say you know what i'm, I'm interested and in, you know taking advantage of some of the different products that you share on here you know i want to know what affiliate products that will work best with what i have as a product or service you know just reach out to me i do have a free 30 minute power half an hour where i meet with people one-on-one -on -one, okay and just kind of help them strategize. But after that, that's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. So I'm in the IT field. We get paid lots of money. Okay. So 30 minutes is is, is a value. Trust me. You get awesome. a value. When you meet with me, I'm telling you, you do not leave the same. Anybody that has ever sat down with me, it's like a Mary and Martha experience. Her well, baby leaves. Well, okay. I, I haven't had the Mary Martha <laughs> experience, but I done been in a room with Miss Tara enough to know just in a group setting, you, uh, I mean, you get so much from her with her introducing me to Alexa skills and the YouTube marketing creation. I mean, the list goes on and on. And I haven't had my 30 minute one on one Mary Martha experience, but I feel <laughs> like I got the a residue overflow from everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> but if you need to take advantage of the time and I can surely say and vouch, she will, she does provide value. You will not leave away from her the same. Your whole mindset and thinking is different. And talking with her and listening to her, she will push you and force you to find out, okay, how can I repurpose my content? How can I get it out there? for to those different target markets that you're seeking. Miss Terry B. Jones is the lady for you. I call her queen of tech and things because she know it all. 
So, Miss Terry, I appreciate you tonight for taking time out your amazing schedule to share with us by ebook publishing. As much as I don't engage with you and heard from you, I still don't learn something new. I got about five pages of notes over here. I was writing the whole time. I'm like, I, she is true. She is a teacher, and I love that because that's how iron sharpens iron. You know, no one knows everything, but I guarantee you, you don't know what you don't know. When you be in the room, then you in the know and you have a source to go to. So I just want to thank her for being in the room tonight. On this coming Thursday, we're going to have Tell the Truth Thursdays. We're going to have the power of attorney. I protect your brand in the house this week. Um, Latanya Moore from um, Alabama. Huntsville, Alabama, she served on the Eric Holder and Loretta Lynch when President Obama was in the White House. And she's going to talk to us about intellectual property, protecting your brand. So you, if you haven't registered, you need to be in the room. She also has a Facebook group page, just like Miss Terry, is um, Legal Proof Your Legacy. And when I say she be dropping nuggets, Miss Terry, you and her both, I'm like, whoa. I said, I'm going to be overloaded this month by the time I get done with all these women. But I love it. I love it because this is what we need in this hour. So, Miss Terry, again, let them know how can they reach you, the best way to reach you, or call you to connect, to get that free 30 minutes, to um, we're going to have the promo code set up if they want to learn more, get in your private group of the video books and courses. So tell them one more time, how can they reach you and find you? I'm on Facebook at TJ and TJ Enterprise. All right. You all heard it from the women of tech this week, of all things. This is your host, Teresa Gamble from Startup Grind, Jacksonville, Florida, USA. We are had an amazing evening with Miss Tara B. Jones of We Voice It and all things tech. I'm just going to say it like that because that's what she is. She has so much more to offer. So you just you may not be interested in ebooks, but just know she works in different streams and different fields that can help you grow your brand, grow your business. If you need that accountability partner, she's an ex excellent one. I highly recommend her because I learned from her as well. So make sure you registered and be in the room with us this Thursday on Tell the Truth Thursdays on legal proof for your business. We're going to talk about data protection, uh, privacy protection, protecting your intellectual property, all this stuff that Ms. Terry is talking about tonight that we're repurposing and creating. Attorney um, Latanya Moore is going to show us how to protect it. So if you have not joined our chapter, you can join our chapter for free at startupgrind.com backslash Jacksonville. And so you can stay connected with all the events. Thank you so much. And remember to stay safe. Stay home if you can. If not, make sure you socially distancing and please wear a mask if you have to go out. Thank you so much, Ms. Terry B. Jones, and have a great evening, everybody.